two. <laughs> I was paying for the works this time from the beginning. <laughs> Get this. I was so obsessed with them having my epidural ready. I met with the anesthesiologist before the birth so he could see my back. I wanted the quickest, fastest epidural known to mankind. I got to the hospital, suffered for three hours till I was four centimeters, and then wham, bam, thank you, Mr. Anesthesiologist, <laughs> my epidural. <sighs> Empowering epidural. You know, sometimes a woman just needs an epidural. <laughs> I knew I could get a spinal headache for days or even weeks afterward, but I did not want to repeat the circus of my first birth. This birth was pretty straightforward. 12 hours, lots of beeping machines, doctors and nurses coming in and out. My husband waiting for me to dilate to 10, then the doctors and nurses yelled, Push! And the nurses started counting. I felt disconnected. I felt nothing. But that did not matter. The goal of this birth was clear in my mind. Get the baby out of me healthy. Not to have a euphoric experience for me and the baby. Get the baby out and don't die in the process. That's what the epidural did for me. <laughs> At that same 33-week appointment, one of the midwives told me, The baby's head is down, Lisa. What? No, 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 no. I would swear on a stack of Bibles that my baby's head wasn't down. I could feel the weight of his head under my rib cage. I kept telling them, I really think that my baby's head is up like a breech baby. No. The baby's head is in your, the baby's head is down. Foot is in your rib cage. All right, so a week after my due date at my 41 week appointment, they told me that if I didn't go into labor that weekend, they were gonna send me to get an ultrasound on Monday. Well, remember, I know exactly when I conceived, so to me, I was just entering my 39th week, not my 41st. And I've done enough reading to know that lots of women carry their first babies a little bit longer, so I was well within the normal range. But by Monday, I still hadn't gone into labor, so off we went to get the ultrasound. I was just happy that we could finally see the position of the baby this time. Surprise, surprise, his head was in my rib cage. My baby was free. Hi, Mom, it's Sandy. Yes, dear, how are you feeling? Not great. That doctor is good for nothing. If I ever see him again, I might hurt him. Yeah, me too, Mom. Mom? Yes? Tina had her baby last night at a birth center in water. Water? You mean in a bathtub? No, a birthing pool. Tina had her baby with midwives. Midwives? It's not crazy to give birth with midwives, Mom. It's not like midwives are some hippies delivering babies in cornfields in Iowa. <laughs> I didn't say that, Santa. Then why do you sound so alarmed? Tina's midwife was there for her every step of her labor, telling her it was going to be okay. You can do it, Tina. You are doing it. <laughs>
No mid lives. No candlelight. No water. For her. For my mother. Just one day. Lisa, you're going to have to go to the hospital immediately and have a C-section. Call me back. Lisa, you're going to have to go to the hospital immediately. Lisa, you're going to have to go to the hospital immediately. Call me back. Lisa, you're going to have to go to the hospital immediately. Call me back. Never looked back. 
But as soon as I hung up the phone, a nurse walked in. We are going to get this baby out. This baby is too big to deliver vaginal. You, it could be nine pounds. You can't birth no nine pound baby. <laughs> I didn't think he was all that big. I mean, I carried a 10 pound bag of sugar and I know I wasn't carrying that kind of weight. I'm starting to feel like I'm in the twilight zone. Nobody is listening to me. Finally, all of the doctors and nurses came in my room and stood against the wall under the clock with their hands crossed. Lisa, we don't know what you're waiting for, but you're going to have a C-section. 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 Okay, I was starting to feel trapped. I mean, of course, I was trying to wonder why they were treating me like this. Is it because I'm a woman who's always direct with people? Maybe I was being too bossy this time. You know, I bet it's because I'm black and they think I'm gonna accept substandard care. Maybe it's because when I walked in, I looked like I didn't have insurance. <laughs> My mind was going in a thousand directions, but I knew if I was gonna get through this, I couldn't focus on any of that. I mean, these people have been working on me mentally for six hours straight. Now, Tennessee was a long way away, so I had to go through my options. Finally, a nurse walked in. They were losing their patience with me. It it's is midnight. midnight! Okay. I figured I might be able to hold them off for another hour or two. They had a doctor on site who could do the C-section right away. In the end, I figured, why well, wait until he was all sleep deprived? do the C-section. So I was too angry to cry when they wheeled me into the delivery room. I was furious. Man, I was pissed off. But there was a nurse who was in there when they wheeled me in. What took you so long? Believe me, it's bad.